Hey everyone and welcome to my latest tutorial node based texture and look dev for production in Mari. In this tutorial I'll be going over my node based workflow. I'll also be supplying a node based template which I've been building over the last year within a production environment. This template just helps to have an initial layout which we can then build off of which I'm going to show through the process of the tutorial. I also have a section where I go over the look development process so we can quickly grab these maps, plug them into an Arnold shader and see how the textures are looking within the context of a rendering engine which we can then go back and make adjustments and then come back to the rendering engine and see how the textures develop. This allows for a lot of texture iteration which is something that I do in the production environment. I'll show how I set up some basic lighting for my scene as well as building out a very simple environment to try help blend the asset into some sort of environment which will then help with the notes and feedback that I get from my supervisor. This new node-based workflow has helped speed up my workflow considerably. It gives an easier scene management, so everything's laid out in a much easier way to follow than a layer structure. This also helps make it faster to iterate and address notes that you may get on the asset. A node-based workflow is also much lighter on the scene weight and the scene size in Mari, so this allows you some leeway to maybe increase resolutions or increase the amount of detail that you're putting into an asset. The template and the principles that I use in this tutorial can work on a, any type of asset. I've used it in both organic. In this case, it's hard surface just because it's a tutorial. Hard surface assets are generally faster to texture. So in this case, this is why I chose a hard surface asset. But the last organic character I did in my personal work, the Druid, he was also done using this exact same technique. And I just stuck to the same principles and processes and I got a great result. The result that you see at the end of this tutorial has been achieved in a roughly eight hour working day. Uh, more time would obviously then be used to refine and tweak and, and address notes that you might get from a supervisor or a lead. But yeah, this is really just getting you 80% of the way there as quickly as possible with a solid result. I go over every step of the process and I only skip areas where I find I'm uh, repeating myself. So for example, I just texture a single tire and then the other tires I do off camera because it's the exact same process. But I try to minimize the length of the tutorial by doing this. I just wanna thank everyone for their ongoing support with these tutorials. I know it's been a while since I made one of these, but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it and learn something new that helps your workflow and ultimately the quality of your artwork. Thanks.